Before streaming took over the world of television, 20 to 30 minute TV episodes were reserved for sitcoms, dramas were almost always longer. Nowadays, episodes of any show are free to be virtually any length. The FX on Hulu drama, The Bear, is gaining many accolades, from a 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes to a newly minted second season renewal. One thing that makes this series stand out is its unusual, captivating pace. And, one thing that makes this pace work so well is its surprisingly short episodes. In its unique success, The Bear makes the argument that shorter episodes of television ought to be here to stay. One of the things that sets the bear apart is how it thrives on its naturalism, from its dialogue to its set to the acting, the bear sets out to feel real, gritty, and imperfect. This makes it easy for viewers to get thrown into the story as if they're watching a real-life drama unfold. Something that primes the bear to accomplish this uniquely well is its often relentlessly accelerated pacing. Everything about the bear is fast, and it gives its audience a viscerally engaging experience. The effect of this works to the plot's advantage. A major part of the storyline is how overwhelmed Carmen, Jeremy Allen White, is with the cards he's been dealt. And, by design, the bear's pacing allows the viewers to feel overwhelmed right along with him. Collider video of the day The effectiveness of the bear's unexpectedly whirlwind pacing isn't just an effect of how the narrative plays out. It's also an effect of the series' short episodes. While nearly anything goes when it comes to episode length in the world of streaming, it's still unexpected and novel for a drama to be delivered in the style of 30-minute episodes. The Bear is proving, however, that other dramas would be wise to consider doing the same. The natural argument against dramas with 30-minute episodes is, of course, how much time an episode has to let its story breathe and how much ground can be covered in the allotted time. In a comedy, this frequently isn't as necessary, and therefore, we're used to seeing comedies with episodes that feel like just quick dips into the world of the show. Dramas, on the other hand, are compelled to accomplish a lot more. As viewers, we tend to expect a drama series to feel a bit like a movie. And, the more streaming allows the old rules to be bent, the more drama series seem to dare to venture into feature film territory. What Stranger Things 4 just successfully accomplished with its long, cinematic episodes is a perfect example of this. Yet, the more the confines and boundaries of television change and wane and the more shows are invited to experiment, 
the more series would do well to think of every aspect of how they're delivered to their audience as something that may work to the advantage of their storytelling. Good dramatic storytelling isn't something that must be accomplished in 40-minute increments and squished between commercial breaks anymore. The rules and possibilities are changing, and as the ability for variety grows, so do expectations and appreciation for out-of-the-box thinking. To imagine the bear telling its story via hour-long episodes is to imagine an entirely different series, and it's safe to say that that series wouldn't tell its specific story nearly as well. As viewers, our experience with the restaurant at the show's focus, the beef, is very similar to Carmen's experience with it. Both the audience and Carmen are thrown into this situation. Embarking on watching this series from its start is a lot like jumping onto a train as it's speeding past you. The story has no interest in slowing down to let you get on board. Rather, it operates as if it was moving at this pace before you entered and will continue to move at this pace if you choose to leave. This greatly helps to add to the series' impressive feat of realism. In the real world, stories don't start with a pilot and end with a finale, they're moving on infinitely. With its quick, punchy episodes, the bear mimics that fact of life perfectly. It feels like real life all while creating urgency and adding to the stakes. Hour-long episodes would both entirely alter the feeling of the series and make its episodes drag and often likely feel like too difficult a task to endure. With its short episodes, on the other hand, viewers are free to consume exactly as much as they are personally able to stomach. This is an ideal way to present a series that, like this one, drops one season all at once. Viewers watch it at their own pace, and they learn how to sync their own needs with the pace of the show. It's both easy to binge watch, letting one episode flow seamlessly into the next and easy to consume in tiny bites. Sometimes spending a half hour watching an episode of The Bear is like the Goldilocks of TV shows, it's just right. More would be too much and too overwhelming. In this way, the 30-minute episodes actually allow for more drama, rather than less, as one might expect. The episodes are free to be as intense as they are because of their length. And, viewers can make their own decisions about whether or not to continue existing in the all-consuming, fast-paced kitchen of the show or whether to take a breather until tomorrow. One wouldn't normally expect 30-minute episodes for a tense, fast-paced, emotional drama to be an ideal format.
But, for the bear, these quick episodes only add to what makes this series so emotionally affecting and intensely watchable. The bear has taken a risk with these short spurts of high energy content, and the risk has paid off. In doing this, it's become clear that in a time when television is entirely different than it was in the past, audiences are ready for formats that are entirely different, too. Series are no longer boxed in the way they once were, and as a result, out-of-the-box choices are welcome. Experimenting with episode length may no longer be about time slots, advertising, or antiquated ideas. Rather, it's time for show's formats to mold to fit the stories they're aiming to tell. And, The Bear proves that a story about a fast-paced kitchen belongs in a fast-paced show.